Okay, so I noticed that I did not post a video on lesson four, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video for you on midpoint and distance. So um, I've already got part of my notes drawn out, and I'm sorry if this is shaking because I've had to rig up my camera, but um, the midpoint is halfway between two points. It's basically the middle point. Okay, so if I have the coordinate plane here and I have point two, three, and you, know, you go over two, up three, and you have point negative four, negative one, go over negative four, down one. I made an oops, so y'all just ignore that spot there. Um, I want to find out what point is about in the middle. What point is exactly in the middle? Well, using this formula here, the midpoint formula, we can find exactly which spot, which point is in the middle. Okay, so I have my formula is x2 plus, I mean x1 plus x2 uh, divided by 2 to get my x coordinate and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 to get my y coordinate. So these are my two, my two ordered pairs that I have. And um, I need to choose which one I want to be my point one and which one I want to be my point two. It really doesn't matter which one you're going to use as one and two. I um, am gonna call this one X1, Y1, and this one X2, Y2. And it is important to just go ahead and label those. Let me see if I can fix my camera so that it's not wiggling as much. Make it a little tighter. There we go. Um, it really doesn't matter which one we make as one and two. So I'm gonna make this point one and this point two, okay? So um, X1 is negative four plus X2, which is two, divided by two. Y1 is negative one plus Y2, which is three, divided by two, okay? Now I'm gonna simplify those fractions. Negative four plus two is negative two over two, and one plus, negative one plus three is two over two. So, when I simplify that, my point is negative one, one. So I can go back over here and I can plot negative one, one right there, and that is my midpoint, that is the point in the middle, okay? That's how you do it. One of the things about geometry is most, a lot of things will be given to you in formula style. As long as you know how to plug into a formula and simplify, you're fine, okay? So let's do another problem just for the sake of giving you two. And this time I'm not gonna draw the coordinate plane. Um, I'm going to say, what if my point was uh, 0, 6, and 2, 4? These are my two points. All right, so I've got my midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. I'm still trying to get this to where it's not shaking as bad. I rigged my camera up with zip ties, so uh, that maybe that'll be a little bit stronger. Okay, so the first thing I need to ask myself is, which point is going to be my one and which point is going to be my two? Okay, just for the sake of fun, I'm going to call this one one, and I'm going to call this one two to show you that it really doesn't matter. Okay, so this is x2, y2, x1, y1. So let's plug in my formula. x1 is 2, x2 is 0, over 2. Uh, y1 is 4, y2 is 6, over 2. So we have 2 over 2 and 10 over 2, which will simplify to 1, 5. So if I were to draw this, let me just go ahead and draw it out for you. 
Let's draw this like this. And basically, I only need this first quadrant. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, my first point is two, four, two, four. And my second point is zero, six. Oh, no, that's wrong. Nope, nope, nope. Zero, six. There we go. You got it right now, Porter. Zero, six. And I'm going to draw my line. Remember, lines have arrows on both ends because they go in the opposite directions forever. And then my point one five, look there, right there it is, right there on that line. So, and it is in the middle, hence the name midpoint, right? So that's midpoint. Um, distance, let's do a formula for, let's talk about distance for a minute. And I've already written down the notes just to save us a little bit of video time. Um, so the distance is the length from one point to another, the length from one point to another. So if I had, um, let's go back, here's my other, my two points that I did here for midpoint, um, negative four, one and two, three, it's basically saying how far will I be going to get from this point to this point? What's my distance? How far would I be going? So, um, so if you're going traveling, you know that your distance is the amount of the amount of travel you do. So if I'm going from Jemison to Nashville, my distance would be starting at one place and going to another. So but we're talking about the coordinate plane. So I'm going to take this formula. Distance is equal to the square root of x squared, I mean x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, and I'm going to fill these in. I'm going to call this my point 1, this is my point 2. So this is x1, y1. This one is x2, y2. Okay, let me plug that in. x2 is 2, x1 is negative 4 squared plus y2 is three minus negative one squared, okay? Now, we know that a minus negative makes a plus. All right, so now let me work on simplifying this. So I've got two plus four is six squared plus three plus one is four squared, all right? Square root of uh, six squared is 36, and four squared is 16. So the distance is the square root of 52. Now, we cannot divide 52 evenly to get the square root. Um, and if you remember, let's recall that the square root of a number like square root of 25 is basically saying what times itself is 25, five times five is 25. So the square root of 25 is five. Now I'm not wanting you to leave these in square root um, form. All right, so uh, you might need a calculator and um, I'm going to use this TI-30X. I'm gonna plug in the square root of 52, whoop, let me go back, 52, square root of 52, and that gives me 7.21110255151. So I'm going to round that to give me 7.2. Rounded it to the nearest tenth. The tenth is the first number after the decimal. All right, so the distance from negative 4, negative 1 to 2, 3 is 7.2. All right, let's do another one, just so that you have a second, a second example. Um, let's do 
Um, let's do this one. This one will come out a little bit more even. Let's do negative one, negative 11, and negative one, negative three. And I'm just for the fun of it, gonna call this one two and this one one, because it, it really doesn't matter which way we put them into the formula. They're gonna come out to be the same answer. So let me write my formula down again. And let me fill in my formula. My x2 is negative one. My x1 is negative one. My y2 is negative 11 and my y1 is negative three. Mm, that's all, they're all negatives, look at that. So I'm going to, my minus negative is always a plus. So we have negative one plus one, which is zero, zero squared. Here we have negative 11 plus three is negative eight squared. So zero squared is just zero, okay? And negative eight squared is 64. Negative eight times negative eight is positive 64. And look, we can do this one even, even, evenly because we know that the square root of 64 is just eight because eight times eight is 64, okay? So um, if you have any questions, let me know. I am answering emails um, and I will be glad to help you in any way you need. You have a test next week. Your test will be on um, unit one and uh, please make sure that you are getting all of your assignments completed.